was for entertainment purposes only. And if you want true legal advice, contact your own lawyer. Yes. I'm doing the Napo Napoleon Dynamite yes now. Yes. <laughs> With my arm extended above and pulling down to my side. This? Yes. That's this? an Idaho yes. And that This is the 15-year anniversary of Napoleon Dynamite's premiere. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That is that that has been making the rounds because it's just a, it's got a very large cult classic following. This is an interesting DUI. Now I know you've handled a number of DUIs, I Todd, have. Uh, as a pro former prosecutor in California and in Tennessee, and now a criminal defense lawyer. But this is about an individual, and it didn't have to do with a car. This guy is driving a semi-truck. Yes. That's what's so scary. He's driving a semi-truck. And he's trying to figure a way to trick the police into allowing him to drive this <laughs> truck that is not apparently licensed or he wanted to change the license plate. So he believes that he's a wonderful artist. And by the way, he is hammered at the time. And he makes... A fake license plate. Did you tweet it out yet, Denise? I am now. Denise, tweet it out. This is a picture of the license plate that he made that he put on his semi-truck in order to trick the police officers to thinking that, doggone it, that's a valid license plate. Now, if you go back to the California plates of the 1960s, there were those black and yellow ones. So he makes a black and yellow old-fashioned license plate you think he'd at least do one that's like the, the recent one that's white with you know red or something to that effect although but they, no. are, they are reissuing the uh the black with the gold lettering but mainly on classic cars yes. but you can get it on your car but usually so you'd think it'd be a newer car you than would, it would you, be on. you would expect that yes so he's so a police officer is on his motorcycle cruising around and minding his own business and he sees this semi-truck ahead of him he's like you know what that license plate looks a little odd, and he pulls up to it, <laughs> and the t and it's black, and the very <laughs> top of it is painted the words C A L I F A S, Califas. Do you know? He that? ran out of the word, <laughs> ran out of ca to ca put California on it, and then it had these little yellow numbers nine F three O eight one five. It looks like children's, you know, uh, uh, chicken scratch and cruising along. And sure enough, he was drunker than a skunk and got arrested. Uh, just to just to let you know about the word Caliphus or Caliphas. Um, now, I am getting this. I'll, I'll give the attribution from right. UrbanDictionary.com. And Caliphus, it says, quote, a nickname for the state of California used by the Hispanic community, especially in Southern California. Right. And so, but they didn't, the article, all the stuff, I'd research this, I don't got the guy's name, I don't have his ethnicity, mm -hmm. but, you know, it is interesting that they use the slang name for California, not the actual one. Well, if Rodriguez is here, he'd be able to explain it, because I'm sure he would have tried to make something like this and done something worse knowing it, him. And we don't know that it's not right. Yeah, so <laughs> Go to the website, radiolawtalk.com. That's radiolawtalk.com.